Maybe we should do a V. Can we do a V for vegan? <laughs> vegan. <laughs> It's Lori uh, from Simply Plant Food and Danielle from Simply Plant Food. Um, today we decided to do a video on our beginning of our weight loss journey. I know it's not all about vanity but or even the weight loss because it's about measuring too isn't it Danielle? Mm -hmm. Right. It's not just about losing the weight but it's it's part of the benefits right? So um, I wanted to start off saying that I've been if you didn't see my video before I've probably been vegetarian about seven years, vegan the last two, but kind of eating just bad, like eating chips and french fries and oil and, you know, just didn't care, but I was doing it for the animals. So now my journey is I'm doing it for my health, right? So I started reading some really awesome books. Um, yeah, we've got a couple yep. here. I have still yet to read some of them. Yeah, one is The Starch Solution um, by Dr. Uh, McDougall. And I also had this one that in my arsenal a while back, um, but I hadn't read it, <laughs> but, but I have read it now. And this one is the uh, Maximum Weight Loss, as well as... Um, show you that. Yeah, there you go. we'll put a link to if you want to get these books, right? But we're gonna, you can follow along with us and see how we're doing this diet. And then also... We, um, we kind of mentioned this one in our last one, we had it in our video, How Not to Die. Woohoo! <laughs> um, I've been actually listening to this on Audibles because yes. mom has all her books on there. So I just pop it on in the car and listen to yep. it half an hour while I drive to London and drive to work. And, uh, yeah, I know it's been a really good, um, book so far. I yes. like I said, I haven't read all of them, but. Well, we'll explain why I, I I'm kind of leaning a little towards that. We're not complete, like, um, uh, Dr. McDougall is really low, low, low fat, right? And, uh, and I do believe in that, especially when you have eating disorders. There's a lot, there's a lot involved here. But what we wanted to do really, I'm trying to stay focused here, is we want to just be, tell you our beginning of our journey. So we're going to weigh ourselves, or we, I'm going to tell you the weight, and then uh, we're also going to do measurements. But, um, okay, so the last four weeks, I've really been following low fat, high carb, right? So basically eating my starches at breakfast, lunch and supper and sometimes I just eat uh, twice a day because of my job right but on the weekend I usually eat three times a day so um, but it's just getting you know but I'm, I'm satisfied right I'm, I'm not starving right because in my past I was we were just talking about it Danielle and I did the Weight Watchers uh, yeah we both done Weight Watchers at different times in our life yeah like when you and it's not the, a, a yeah. super bad program no but it's restriction right where this is so nice, you don't re you don't have to restrict yourself, and yeah. you lose weight. How cool is that? Like my size, I'm five foot pushing, maybe five foot one. Yeah, and I'm a hundred and well, I'm not, now I'm down a few pounds, but I was a hundred and thirty when I did do Weight Watchers, one hundred thirty five almost actually when I was pushing it, and my I think my calories I to lose weight was twelve hundred, which is like wow. Not enough. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're always hungry, and you're always, you know, you're Starving. always thinking about food all the time. Right? And all you think you can eat is meat. When I, if you're not vegan, on meat watchers, meat yeah. and vegetables, and right. it's just not satisfying at all. No, no. Well, and I even did in my past. I did the Atkins diet. Oh my God, was that ever? I kind of lost weight on it. Don't get me wrong, but yeah. I always thought, oh my God, this is like, uh, like meat, and cheese, and like I was killing myself, right? Yeah. Like there, I mean, there is so much. You don't even have to. Like, if you look up and do your research, you will find that, like, the meat does, meat and dairy products cause a lot of havoc on your body and your heart and your whole system, right? As well as cancers and all kinds of stuff, right? Well, you just do your research. I mean, we've done our due diligence and I'm like, no, I'm not going down that road because my family has been um, heart attack city, right? Okay, so I started out with, uh, okay, four weeks ago. So I got serious and now I'm doing this. The, like the low fat, right? Because the problem is my diet the last two, seven years has been vegan, vegetarian, right? But I've been eating a lot of oil, 
mm -hmm. and salt and sugar. All these things that are, you know, addictive, right? So anyway, so the last four weeks I really cut out everything and the, like the, the, I don't eat my French fries, like I can have French fries, right? But I could, they're in the air fryer and they're in the oven or With there's oil. different ways to do it, right? So we're going to show you this on this channel. But anyway, so the last four weeks I have went from oh, 163 pounds. I was so, I was, for my first baby, I was 155. So I'm freaking out, right? Right? <laughs> and being 53 years old, I need to get this weight off. Well, whatever. Anyway, and uh, um, so what is it? Four weeks later, now I weigh, what did I say? 156, I weighed this morning. So Ooh, seven, pounds. seven pounds in four weeks. So that's, that's a nice, healthy weight loss. Yep. Yep. So. So, and then I went vegan almost, I guess it's been a month now. Yep. And um, I wasn't even, I haven't even actually been eating the greatest vegans. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I just to start with, I went on a trip and I got back and I just haven't got organized and haven't been meal planning like I should and I work yeah. shift work, uh, which is hard, but I'll get into that if, in another video. Um, but uh, I've lost three pounds without even actually trying. Like I, I've oh, gotten, awesome. I've been working out a little bit doing yoga, things like that, but I really haven't like exerted myself to lose any weight. So, and I've lost three pounds, so. Awesome, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, well, they, like, I mean, I know, and I think most people know that weight loss is 90% diet, right? Pretty much, and 10% exercise, but exercise is good, and that's the thing that I need to add into my life as well, like, um, because uh, I'm busy, because I work in, and I'm doing, uh, my, my jewelry business and doing this and lots of stuff so you make I gotta make time for it right because it's yep. really important for my health right so yeah Danielle's better at that the exercise thing <laughs> but I'm, I'm gonna get there she I'm got a gym there. membership I did I got, a gym, got membership a gym membership and a rebounder but I'm gonna talk about that too that's a really awesome thing to do rebounding right it's a fun exercise right so and if Tandy Raw does it you know, and she looks fabulous. If anybody wants to look her up, Tani Raw. She just she's a vegan. She's, got but abs. she's raw. <laughs> but I mean, she that's one of the only probably she says that's probably the biggest exercise for her, right? Because you can do cardio on that, right? And you can buy a rebounder for like a hundred bucks, right? So, and that's the trampoline. Yeah, that's the trampoline. It's like a tra little trampoline, little trampoline. personal trampoline. size trampoline. It's good for your lymph system, right? So, yeah. So we thought we'd just kind of recap on kind of what one of our goals is um which is to lose some weight get lose healthy inches. lose inches lose yeah. inches um feel better yep yeah. yep yeah. kind of like and we just wanted to do a starting video just to actually look back on yeah so, so it's kind of for you and for us right yeah so we can say oh my god look at how fat we were no and hold <laughs> us accountable <laughs> yes exactly yes and we're making ourselves accountable that we're going to get this off and show you well show ourselves that we can do this right yeah yeah Exactly. Right? Exactly. Couldn't imagine eating you. No. Nope. No, nope, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, and the other thing too is being a, a vegan or a vegetarian or even if you're eating meat, right? Doesn't mean you're healthy, right? So you got to do do your research, right? And find out what is happening. And uh, I was just reading um, how uh, the number one, like, like somebody, who was it? Um, the fruit guy, um, raw boy, the raw boy. He was just asking that if, because he does raw, obviously, and a lot of fruit, right? But that's the the according to the World Health something. I forget whatever. It's it's the number one thing that we don't do enough of, right? All of us, we need to eat more fruit, and, well, and vegetables, right? Mm -hmm. 
And but we believe that we need to have starches in there. Otherwise, you're going to be starving, and you're going to you're going to fall off the you're going to eat junk, right? And if you're not planned, right? Like Danielle said, planning is yeah, very planning important. is huge. Yeah, I usually yeah. have some stuff in the freezer. Like last night, I was starving. Yep. And I was like, I don't really feel like making something, so I just popped some out of the freezer and mm -hmm. something I had made a couple weeks ago and yep. have yep. that. Yeah, that's a good thing. I always have something, you know, like I got some frozen vegetables at the market and uh, you just have to put them in a pan or whatever and then on a bed of rice and you're all good. That's a meal. It's quick, fast. Most vegans do eat pretty simple, or most people eat, pick two or three meals, or maybe more than that, that they eat during, uh, you know, time, right? Yeah. I like to eat the same thing yeah. over and over again, typically, yeah. especially for breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oatmeal. Yeah. But you Still know what? I, I, I Yeah. I, you know, I, I feel bad because I wish I would have raised my kids different, but I would, but you know, what do you do, right? You make the choices that you make and uh, whatever, but I never really, I wasn't a really big oatmeal eater because my parents weren't, right? It was bacon and eggs and cereal, right? Yeah. <laughs> and even now, I'm going up there on the weekend, it's going to be bacon and eggs. Well, bacon not for me, eggs. but yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. But I, it, the only thing that I say, I wish I would have been uh, vegan long, or sooner, but it's part of my journey. I am where I'm. Yeah. So, yeah. Thanks for coming out and watching Simply Plant Food and uh, taking the time to watch our journey. Um, these are three books. Uh, we'll put it down in the um, description box if you're interested in them on the Amazon. You can buy them on Amazon. Um, as well, uh, we'd like it if you would subscribe to our channel and like our channel. That would be really awesome. Yep. Yep. And comment below. And comment and say hi. And keep following us. Yes. <laughs> Support's great. Yep. It's awesome. It's awesome. All, All right. right. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Bye.